Hosts beware. The Airbnb blacklist. Countries and cities where hosting is illegal. Welcome, welcome, gather round, my dear hosts. For I have some juicy gossip to share with you today. You know how we love our Airbnb adventures. But unfortunately, not every place in the world is welcoming to us. Yup, that's right. There are some countries and cities out there that have given us the boot, leaving us to fend for ourselves in the cold, cruel world of hotel accommodations. But fear not, my intrepid travelers, for I am here to dish out the deets on where we're not welcome. I've got the lowdown on the Airbnb blacklist, where hosting is a big no-no. From the stunningly beautiful to the downright ridiculous. These are the places where you won't be able to open your doors to your fellow wanderers. So grab a cup of tea, or a stiff drink, depending on how bad the news is, and get ready to learn which locales are off-limits to us Airbnb enthusiasts. But before that, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified of the next video from us. Shall we start? The Legality of Airbnb Hosting in Different Countries Oh boy! Talking about the legality of Airbnb hosting in different countries is like opening up a can of worms. But hey, I'm up for the challenge. So here's the deal. Airbnb is legal in many countries, but it's not exactly a free-for-all. Some places require hosts to register with the local government, pay taxes, and obtain permits. Other places have outright banned short-term rentals altogether. In the good old US of A, the rules vary from state to state and city to city. New York City, for example, has some of the strictest regulations in the country, while San Francisco has taken a more laissez-faire approach. Across the pond, things get even more interesting. In Paris, hosts must register with the city and limit their rentals to 120 nights per year. In Barcelona, Airbnb has faced some serious legal challenges and is only allowed to rent out licensed properties. And don't even get me started on places like Japan and South Korea where the regulations are so complex and constantly changing that even the most seasoned hosts are left scratching their heads. So if you're thinking about becoming an Airbnb host, be sure to do your research first. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, just remember, there's always a couch to surf on at your grandma's house. Consequences of hosting on Airbnb where it is illegal First of all, if you get caught hosting on Airbnb where it's illegal, you could face some serious fines. And we're not talking about a measly parking ticket here. We're talking about potentially thousands of dollars. Ouch. But wait, there's more. Depending on where you are, you could also face legal action. Yep, that's right. You could end up in court like a real-life Law & Order episode. And let's be real, no one wants to be interrogated by Detective Benson. And if that's not enough to scare you straight, remember that hosting on Airbnb where it's illegal could also put your guests at risk. Without proper permits and safety inspections, you're basically asking for trouble. So, before you decide to break the rules and become an outlaw host, ask yourself, is it really worth it? Or would you rather stick to the straight and narrow and avoid those pesky fines and court appearances? How to check if Airbnb hosting is legal in a particular location. Before you start breaking in those sweet, sweet rental fees, it's important to make sure you're not breaking any laws. We here at Airbnb don't provide legal advice. That's what lawyers are for. But we can give you a few tips to get you started. First things first, check if your local government requires you to have a business license. Because let's be honest, running an Airbnb is basically running a hotel. And you don't want the cops knocking on your door asking for your license. Unless you're into that sort of thing. Next up, make sure your place is up to code. You don't want your guests to complain about leaky pipes or faulty electrical wiring. Plus, if your place is a dump, you might get some not so great reviews on the platform. And nobody wants that. And don't forget to check your zoning laws. You wouldn't want to get hit with a fine for turning your apartment into a rave den. Unless, again, you're into that sort of thing. Lastly, make sure you're aware of any taxes you may need to collect and pay to the government. Nobody likes the tax man, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So there you have it. Follow these tips and you'll be on your way to being a law-abiding, money-making Airbnb host. And who knows, maybe you'll even get a fancy certificate for your wall. Just kidding, we don't offer those. 
Airbnb's policies on illegal hosting. At Airbnb, we take illegal activities pretty seriously. And no, we're not talking about wearing white after Labor Day, although that's a pretty egregious fashion faux pas. We're talking about stuff like hosting unpermitted events, selling drugs out of your Airbnb, or operating a mini casino in your living room. Seriously, people have tried. These things are a big no-no in our community, and we won't hesitate to give you the boot if we catch wind of them. We also don't tolerate any behavior that could harm our community. That includes things like discrimination, harassment, or leaving a mess in the communal kitchen. Seriously, clean up your dirty dishes. So if you're thinking about hosting an illegal activity in your Airbnb, just don't. It's not worth it. And if you witness any sketchy behavior on the platform, let us know. We've got a crack team of community safety experts ready to swoop in and take care of business. Examples of cities that have banned Airbnb hosting. Well, well, well. Looks like some cities just aren't feeling the Airbnb love. Paris, Barcelona, Amsterdam, Miami, and Santa Monica are some of the cities that have put on the kibosh on Airbnb hosting. But don't worry, we're not holding a grudge. Okay, maybe a little. Now, before you go planning your next Airbnb adventure in one of these cities, let's get one thing straight. It's not that Airbnb hosting is banned altogether. It's just that these cities have some pretty strict rules and regulations about who can and can't rent out their homes. But hey, let's look at the bright side. Maybe this is just an excuse to try out some hotels or hostels instead. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, you could always try pitching a tent in the city park. Okay, maybe not. So while we may not be able to offer you an Airbnb in these cities, we're still here for you in over 220 other countries and regions. The Impact of Illegal Airbnb Hosting on Local Communities Illegal Airbnb hosting may seem like a quick and easy way to make a few extra bucks. But let's take a moment to think about the impact on our local communities. First of all, it's just not fair to the hotels and other legal accommodations in the area. They're paying taxes and following all the rules, and here comes some sneaky Airbnb host trying to cut in on their business. And let's not forget about the neighbors. Imagine living next to a revolving door of rowdy tourists coming and going at all hours of the night. Not exactly the quiet, peaceful community you signed up for. Plus, illegal Airbnb hosts often don't pay the necessary taxes, which means less money for important community services like schools and public transportation. Not cool, guys. So let's all do our part to be responsible hosts and travelers. Follow the rules, be respectful to our neighbors, and let's keep our communities thriving. Airbnb's lobbying efforts to legalize their service. Airbnb isn't just a platform for people to rent out their homes, they've also been flexing their political muscles. In addition to corporate social responsibility initiatives, Airbnb has been busy lobbying lawmakers to legalize their service. They've been spreading the good word about the benefits of home sharing, like a bearded guy on a bicycle spreading the word about veganism. But while Airbnb has been vocal on social issues like immigration and same-sex marriage, They've been toning down their political and community activism. Maybe they're just tired of arguing with politicians who think Airbnb is just a fancy hotel without room service. Or maybe they're too busy helping out during natural disasters and pandemics, like the cool kids in high school who volunteer at the soup kitchen on weekends. But with the pandemic shaking things up, Airbnb is rethinking its strategy and returning to its roots. Maybe they'll even ramp up their activism efforts. Just imagine. Airbnb hosts protesting in the streets, armed with signs that say, Give us the right to rent out our spare bedrooms! The future of Airbnb hosting in places where it is currently illegal. What does the future hold for Airbnb in places where it's currently illegal? Will the company be forced to pack up its bags and leave town? Or will they find a way to charm the pants off the local authorities and make illegal hosting a thing of the past? Well, the truth is, it's hard to say. While some cities have cracked down hard on Airbnb, others have embraced the company with open arms. It all depends on the local political climate and how much sway Airbnb can hold with local leaders. But one thing is for sure, Airbnb isn't going down without a fight. They've already made strides in negotiating with local governments and establishing agreements to collect and remit taxes on behalf of hosts. 
Only time will tell if Airbnb can turn the tide and convince more cities to legalize their services. Until then, hosts in illegal locations will have to weigh the risks and rewards of operating under the radar. Well folks, there you have it. The Airbnb Blacklist. While it may sound like something straight out of a spy movie, it's important to know which countries and cities have banned or heavily regulated Airbnb hosting. As we've seen, it can have serious consequences for both hosts and guests, not to mention the impact on the local community. So if you're thinking of listing your spare room or vacation home on Airbnb, do your research first. Check with your local government and make sure you're not breaking any laws or regulations. And if you're planning a trip and looking for an Airbnb stay, be sure to double check that it's a legal listing. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry, and nobody wants to end up on the Airbnb blacklist. But don't worry, there are still plenty of amazing places to stay and host on Airbnb. So happy hosting! What will you surely remember among these guides we have for you? Comment down below and share it with us. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. See you next time.